guys, welcome to the video. My name's Amanda, I'm a second year vet student, and welcome to another day of vet school. It is currently 6.30 in the morning. I'll be honest with you, I cannot even remember the last time that I woke up this early. <laughs> so you're thinking, why the heck are you up this early today? Well, two reasons. New year, new Amanda. Basically, I am not a morning person in the slightest, but I found out that I am most productive in the morning. So I've been trying to get myself into the habit of waking up earlier and basically one day a week, I get up at six o'clock so that I can try and train myself to wake up early because like I said, I'm more productive during those times. So that is reason number one. Reason number two is because I'm stressed. We are currently two weeks into the new semester semester and it has been busy. We've basically had classes from 8 30 to 5 30 every single day which is not uncommon but normally they ease us into a new semester a little bit more but this year they were just like here you go. Which is not the stressful part, that is normal. However, I have a midterm on Thursday that I have not started studying for. It is currently Tuesday and today and tomorrow I have classes all day. So that means I only have a couple hours in the evening to study for this midterm and it's gonna take me way longer than that. So the plan for today is I decided I was gonna get up earlier so that I could hopefully get through some of the lectures that I'm supposed to do this afternoon, this morning. That way, if I finish off the lectures, I can just study this afternoon instead of sitting in class and Hopefully that'll give me a little bit of extra time to prepare for this midterm on Thursday. So I am going to go ahead, make some coffee, make a to-do list, and then I'll walk you through what we're gonna be doing in vet school today. I'm excited because we have some cool things planned. So I will see you in a little bit. Okay, I have my coffee made. I've made my to-do list for the day. So basically I just have all the lectures that I need to get through today before I start studying. And then I also just have some housekeeping stuff that I have to get done today. The other exciting thing that I haven't talked about yet, but is basically one of the reasons why I wanted to film today and bring you guys along during my day in vet school was because we have a very exciting lab that we're gonna be doing today. It's always a good day when I get to go to campus and actually work with animals and not practice vet school things in my bedroom. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, which I can't even tell you guys how excited I am for because I haven't left my house in three and a half weeks now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some of those lectures that I need to get through and hopefully I'll get through most of those before we have to get ready for lab. I will start being productive now and I will talk to you guys in a little. Oh, all of a sudden it is light out, but I just finished the lecture that I wanted to get through this morning I have about a half hour until I have to go to lab and I don't know if I mentioned but our lab today is looking at different techniques for blood collection and Injections on horses and cows. So we're gonna be practicing taking blood and then also doing IM sub Q and IV injections It's always fun when I get to go work with the animals and actually practice vet school outside of my bedroom where I live right now We're currently in our second lockdown. So I haven't left the house in a couple weeks so it's really nice to be able to get out and go to campus the couple labs that we do have this semester are all considered essential basically we can't graduate vet school without learning these skills so it's really nice that we've been able to actually go in and get to practice these things any lab that could have been adapted to online has been put online but obviously i don't have a cow in my bedroom so i can't practice these things so we've been allowed to actually go onto campus and practice these skills with that being said the university is taking all the proper precautions we're basically limited to 10 people in lab at a time we're wearing all the appropriate ppe so we're wearing masks face shields coveralls and safety glasses and we are are staying two meters away from anyone not in our household so I'm really impressed with the university and how safe they've made this process so that's the plan I'm gonna have some breakfast and then get ready for my lab and I will bring you guys along as we go see some cows and horses hey guys I just got back from my large animal lab and it was so cool. Anytime we get to go do practical stuff, it's always the best because it's just, you really feel like a vet when you're doing the stuff. It's a different story when you're sitting at home just reading lectures and studying, but when you actually get to go out and apply your skills and work on your practicals, it really does make you realize why you sit in a classroom so that you can go out and do these skills. So the two skills that we practiced on each species today was in the horse, we learned how to take blood from the jugular vein and then also give IM, sub-Q, and IV injections. And then in the cows, we learned how to take blood from the 
the vein in their tail and we also learned how to place a tube down their esophagus into their rumen so that we can rehydrate them. So that was what we did in lab today and honestly this was one of my favorite labs that I've ever done. I am going to go shower now and get ready for my afternoon of classes and studying. Hi guys, sorry for the quick interruption in the video but I actually have a question for you. So recently on my YouTube channel I made a poll asking if people would be interested in anatomy study guides if I were to make them. The reason why I've been brainstorming this idea is because I made a video on my channel a couple months ago showing how I studied for anatomy and in that video I featured some of the study guides that I actually used in first year. If you haven't seen that video already and you don't know what I'm talking about or you don't know what these study guides look like definitely go check out that video before you answer this question. So since that video I've been getting a lot of people asking if I can share my study guides from first year and unfortunately due to copyright reasons I actually can't because a lot of the study guides contain lecture material from my professors from first year. So like I said because of copyright reasons I can't actually share that material with people who are outside the DVM program at OBC. So that's where I got thinking if I were to make my own study guides that just included my own content so I illustrated all the diagrams and I included tips and tricks that I learned in my first year would people be interested in purchasing those? Obviously I am a broke student right now so I understand the struggle of being on a student budget so I would make these guides very affordable and student budget friendly. The current plan that I've been brainstorming is that I'd like to make a guide that's relevant to small animal, a guide that's relevant to ruminants, and then a guide that is specifically dedicated to horses because each of those three categories are very different in terms of their anatomy. The way I'd go about these study guides is really similar to how I structured my study guides and how we learned anatomy in our first year. So each species is broken down into different regions of the body. So head and neck, forelimb, hind limb, thorax, abdomen, and then special focus on the reproductive tract as well as the brain and all the nervous system. Then within each one of those body systems, I would highlight the muscles, the bones, the nerves, and the arteries in each one of those sections. So before I actually take the time to make these study guides, I just wanted to gauge the interest, see if people would be willing to buy them, if there's anything you'd like me to include in them that I didn't already mention, um, and just kind of get an overall feel of what you guys think about this. Like I said, this has been something I've been thinking about slash brainstorming for the past couple weeks. As of right now, I'm struggling to make study guides for courses that I'm currently in in vet school. So this is probably not a project that I would start until I'm done this year of vet school. So it would be a summer project and hopefully would be released by September of this year so that anyone going into the DVM program or anyone starting first year has these guides available to them before they start anatomy. I feel like these guides would be good for anyone who's in vet school because you know anatomy never changes it's it's not like it's going to evolve every year it's always great to have a little refresher or just a quick little reference guide to use going forward in practice so yeah those are my thoughts that's what i've been brainstorming definitely let me know down below if you'd be interested slash what you think about this okay back to the video thanks for listening so I just finished lunch and I watched an episode of Netflix. Now I have two classes that I have to get done this afternoon and then I'll start studying for my midterm. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those done and then I will let you guys know what my plan is for studying for my midterm. I just finished my lecture that I had to get done this afternoon. I have another lab this afternoon that's two hours, but if I'm being honest, I have been very unmotivated this afternoon. So I think I'm going to just start studying now and push that lab until later because honestly, I'm not gonna learn anything if I do it now. That has been one of the perks of online learning is that I can kind of customize my schedule to what I'm feeling in that moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and get studying. The stuff I'm reviewing right now is stuff that I've already looked at once before, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And then I'll get into the more difficult stuff tonight or tomorrow. The midterm that I'm studying for is theriogenology. So this last unit, we've been looking at clinical conditions and then just the reproductive cycle of small animals. That's what our midterm is on on Thursday. And I actually don't mind studying for this stuff. I find this class really interesting. That's what I'm gonna go do. Hopefully I don't fall asleep while I'm studying. Wish me luck. So I might have just taken a 20 minute nap, but now I'm actually ready to study. So I've been studying for two and a half hours now since I had that nap, but I've actually been really productive. I've gotten through four lectures, I think total, and I'm actually understanding the material pretty well, so that's good. But I'm going to call it for now and I'm gonna go make some dinner and then I'll get back to studying after that. Hey guys. 
I realized I forgot to end the video on Tuesday, but I basically just ended up studying all Tuesday night and then I studied again on Wednesday and I just finished the midterm that I was studying for. So that's exciting and I'm one midterm closer to final exams, which I don't know how I feel about that. Is that good? Am I terrified? A little bit of both? I don't know. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching as always and I hope you enjoyed this video. And with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.